everyone welcome to another studio vlog so i'm about to pack some orders because i've literally just had a shop update and i launched a few new enamel pins quite a lot of new enamel pins actually and also some washi tapes and if you want to see me unbox them and do all the like the product photography and stuff that was in the last studio vlog which was quite a chunky one also the enamel pin care guide cards that is a bit of a tongue twister um have arrived so yeah i designed these little kind of like business sized cards and it just basically tells you like how to care for your enamel pin actually they were delivered yesterday well attempted to be delivered yesterday but they came at like seven o'clock in the morning and i was asleep <laughs> but they've re-delivered them now so yeah i haven't even looked at them yet so i'm excited to see those and yeah then i'm gonna pack some orders <laughs> Here we go. I think I said on the last time that I unboxed these cards from this company that it's kind of a mystery how you're going to get them because sometimes they come just with rubber bands on. Yeah, last time they came in these nice little boxes which I really liked with like one on the top and I think that is the nicest way. I don't know why they changed them. I'm guessing maybe they just ran out of these or maybe it depends i don't know maybe it depends who's packing it up but yeah i feel like the boxes protect them a little bit more because i don't know if you can see it's got a little bit scuffed just there on the edge anyway so here's the front and i really like it actually and yeah then there is the back very cute Star slightly chopped off but I mean these are just like a little thing that I'm gonna throw in to anyone who gets um, an enamel pin yeah just thought that that would be handy and then the other thing I've got in here is just some more backing cards um, for like restocked pins so more of the woodland animal pins and more of the floral cats the other thing I did today was I made a load of boxes but I did this mistake again. I stamped all the boxes and then realised I'd stamped them the wrong way round and I mean I don't know if you can really tell but I've actually had to make these boxes up backwards if that makes sense. I always, I always make the boxes up wrong <laughs> and I always seem to stamp them upside down as well. Never mind, they still work as a box. I've just done them inside out. I'm gonna film a couple of TikToks as well at the same time and I'm rem remembering to charge my phone because <laughs> even though it says it's got like 50% battery I know that it's suddenly gonna disappear and I don't want my videos to just disappear in the middle of making them. That's my hot tip. <laughs>
I'm doing the old washi tape trick because these Cricut mats are not very sticky anymore. Um, I might actually get, I don't know, I still think they're okay. They've still got like a little bit of stick on them. But I have heard that you can get some like stuff to add some more stick. So I might look into that. Good morning. I've got some more orders to pack today. Um, I think my print is just finished. Um, I'm planning on making some more freebie stickers. I thought it was probably about time and I've like pretty much run out. I keep my freebie stickers in this little container. Why am I trying to open this one handed? Hang on. There we go. Yeah. So this was the freebie sticker, but yeah, I've only got a couple more of those left. Yeah. I thought it was about time that I make a new freebie sticker because it's been a while. So let me go show you what I've made. The printer is actually still going. These are the new little freebie stickers and it's a little teacup on a little doily. I think it looks really, really cute. I was having some problems actually with my Cricut machine because I don't know why, but wait, why am I talking to you when you can probably hear the printer in the background? Let's go back to the other room. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're away from the noisy printer. Yeah, I was having some problems with my Cricut and I tried to do these last night and it just wasn't having it. If you have a Cricut, I'm sure you know that they sometimes have temper tantrums and it just refused to cut. Whenever I've had this problem, it's usually been like when it's quite dark at night time. So I thought, that's fine, I'll try again today. And at first, again, it just did not want to print. My cutting mats, they're not as sticky anymore. So I did try putting some washi tape on the side. So I don't know if that was confusing it where it was like looking for the lines, like, cause you have like a border around it. I mean, I didn't cover any of the lines up. So I think it was just having a moment, but apparently if there's a lot of direct sunlight coming in, Crickets don't like that either. <laughs> yeah, they don't like dark, they don't like direct sunlight. But yeah, it just sounds like gremlins, doesn't it? Like, can't, don't get them wet, don't feed them after midnight. I think I'm gonna change how I package the washi tapes because I started off packaging them in the glassine bags and I don't know, I think it's probably unnecessary because they're gonna be in like one of the boxes with like the tissue paper and stuff wrapped around it but i just felt like it maybe needed something because i haven't put the plastic around it so i think i'm just going to put them in the box as it is but also on the subject of washi tape rosie from pin and inco was saying that i should probably print out some little stickers like with my name on in case people forget where they got the washi tape which is a really good idea and i was kind of thinking about that already but then i was like can i be bothered <laughs> So I've just printed out my Etsy shop. Obviously I don't have loads of space to write loads of things because this is going to go on a tiny little washi tape like on the inside as well. But yeah, let's see if this works. Okay, I did it. It's a little wonky. It's actually really hard <laughs> to put on and I think it might have been easier if I'd made it shorter and I did think maybe I could just write my name but I thought it might be more helpful to like write my Etsy shop I don't know I don't think it really matters that it's a bit wonky because it's the inside I will try and I'll try and see if I can make them straight but yeah it probably doesn't matter if it's a little bit on the wonky makes it personal gives it like a human touch but yeah I've just printed one sheet of this for now so I can get a couple of these sorted and then I think this is going to be a job for probably like later on in the evening watching tv that kind of thing. I thought you were just showing me the washi tape. Oh have you seen the washi tape already? I got it. <laughs> You're like yeah it's really nice. <laughs> stop stop showing me. <laughs> um yeah Rosie suggested putting my name in so people know who where it's from, which is a good idea. So did you print that normally and then you're cutting it or is that actually It's cut? a sticker. Yeah, it's it's kiss cut on the cricket.
from there. <laughs> Basement in progress. Well, very messy bit the in there. The mess means progress. The mess means mess means progress. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Saturday now. Um, me and Tom had a lovely run today, uh, even though it was actually raining, but sometimes I find it quite fun running in the rain. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it gives me more kind of like hardcore running <laughs> points. Um, yeah, so that was really fun. And we saw some really adorable little gooselings and they were like all tucked up in like one of the gooses or geese well, um, like in its parents wing and it was so cute um, I don't take my camera when I run that would be a bad idea um, unless I had like a fancy like GoPro or something but to be honest I probably just make you feel a bit ill because it would probably be really like bouncy or something and you probably just hear me like <laughs> breathing heavily or something anyway having a nice day tom has been doing some work in the basement i am planning on doing loads of cooking at the moment i've actually cleaned the kitchen a bit and done loads of dishes uh and i'm gonna make loads of mess i did also find a little collection of dishes in my art room upstairs that I've been hoarding <laughs> so so annoying when that happens like you do all the dishes and then you find a load of other dishes anyway I really want to make like a load of Indian different dishes so I'm planning on making a chana masala just like chickpea sort of curry I think I'd quite like to do maybe like um, a sagaloo or something like potato and spinach there's a YouTube channel called Spice Box, and they have a few different, um, like, I think it might be all vegan Indian res recipes, actually. And they had a recipe for, like, a paneer, but made with tofu. And I've been absolutely loving tofu at the moment, so I've bought so much tofu. I feel like tofu gets, like, a really bad rap, which I totally get, because if you have it when it's, like just as it is it is just like a sponge and doesn't look very appetizing but because it is a sponge it can kind of like absorb all the flavors and stuff i've been using lots of tofu for making you know the kind of like ricotta style like pasta shells so i've been doing that quite a lot i'm in a rambly mood right now i've also bought some lazy ginger and some lazy chili I thought that might be useful because I'm feeling lazy <laughs> and the last time I actually bought ginger I think I must have bought like an old one or something so I don't think my ginger picking skills are very good yes yeah, so I'm gonna do some cooking right now I'm gonna make a feast Tom you can start drilling and making loads of noise again now okay bye So the kitchen is kind of a mess right now. 
I have been cooking for absolutely hours. I have made or attempted to make a sagaloo, a kurma and a chana masala and then I'm just about, these are like the tofu bits that have been coated in some like spice mix so I'm gonna sort that out and that's the last thing that I'm making and oh my god it is like I think half seven seven forty <laughs> I've I don't know what time I started but I've been cooking for a really really long time um the kitchen is a mess right now never mind hopefully it will be tasty I hope <laughs> been sent a lamp um feels really heavy actually i'm gonna try and get into this yeah it's actually been really gloomy as well this whole week it's been very like rainy and windy i don't mind the rain so much though because it's good for the garden and um good for the blueberries i'm very excited again for blueberry season Ooh. Oh, I hate polystyrene. <laughs> it just makes the most annoying, like, squeaky noise. Like, fingers on chalkboards for me. Okay. Oh, that is so heavy. <laughs> it has got this amazing illustration warning. Don't drop it on your foot because <laughs> it's going to hurt. And I can confirm that that is very heavy. So that would definitely hurt if you smash that on your foot. Ooh. Oh. oh, that is nice. got a book reading mode and it's got a screen reading mode um so i guess as well that would be good for if i'm doing something on the ipad i could use the screen reading mode sorry you didn't see the top of that so if i just touch that the light comes on which is kind of cool i feel very like sci-fi like <laughs> It seems slightly magic. I don't know, it's just literally like a button, but. Um, I think it might be kind of interesting to test this out at night time as well. Obviously you can see that it is daytime, but it is a little bit of a gloomy day. Um, the exposure's just up a little bit on the camera. I really like it. So yeah, so tap that, turn it off and turn it on again. Oh, it just makes it look really nice and warm. And then twist this to make it brighter or to make it dimmer. So it's got two different sort of light settings, which is the book reading mode. And I think I'm going to have this for when I'm also doing like traditional like drawing or painting or something like that. And then it's got a screen reading mode and I'm going to use this for, yeah, if I'm doing any like reading on my Kindle or if I'm doing some drawing on the iPad. I started editing the book illustrations on the iPad, so I'll show that to you in a minute. Yeah, to change it, you just tap it for two seconds and it switches. And the other thing that they sent me, I kind of showed, well, I showed the box in the last studio vlog, because <laughs> I, if you watch the last studio vlog, I, um, I started unboxing this because I thought it was something else. Okay, so this is a desk clamp. So, oh, basically that would be if you didn't want the base. So you'd put it in there instead. So, because obviously the base takes up like 
quite a lot of space doesn't it so if you're kind of short on space then you'd use the clamp so I thought I'd show you what I'm actually working on um, on my iPad and you might actually recognize these because I think I did show them on a previous vlog but yeah I just I thought I would edit them on the iPad I actually I started off editing on the computer on Photoshop and I've been trying various different ways of editing and I'm actually just trying out Photoshop for the iPad so you can get a seven day free trial so I thought I would try it out usually I, I use Procreate I really really love Procreate I think it's such a good value for money and I do love the fact that it's just a one-off payment it's not a subscription service like Photoshop is yeah the one thing that Procreate doesn't have is like a kind of clone button whenever I edit my traditional drawings I like to you know change the levels and the contrast and then the other thing I do is I like zoom in and I like to get rid of any of these little tiny specks that shouldn't be there um, but yeah this is the first time I'm actually trying this um, on Photoshop on the iPad um, and look that is just like magic you can just draw over it and it's just like patching up all these little specks which I think is going to be so handy for like cleaning this up the version of Photoshop that I have got already on the computer is an an old version of Photoshop like quite old now I bought it when I was a student um, which was a while ago now and yeah I, I got like quite a few of them as a deal and this was even this was before they were even doing subscriptions where you could just buy it outright unfortunately I don't think there is a version that you can just buy outright that you can have on the iPad I think they've only got the subscriptions yeah so I just thought I would see how much I like it um, and if it is going to be like beneficial for like editing my illustrations then I might actually stick with it because yeah if you can find something to make your workflow easier if you can afford to get it but yeah I just thought I would test out the seven day free trial um, but yeah the other thing is when I edit on the computer on Photoshop I'm using this quite dusty this rather grim <laughs> looking graphics tablet which I've had for a couple of years um, it's not the best one it kind of does the job but it's I just find it so much nicer being able to actually see being able to see the picture on the screen I know lots of people have Cintiqs um, which basically is like the same thing but yeah and then the other thing that I just really like is just how you can easily move everything in and out it just feels like very intuitive as well oh and I'm still cutting out this if this looks a bit random I was <laughs> I was cutting out the background but yeah so I think I'm just gonna carry on doing some editing to my picture yeah I really like this light it doesn't hurt my eyes either because I've had lights that I've used in the past for like filming and stuff as well when it's like too dark um and I just find that they really hurt my eyes but this is like quite a nice gentle light but yeah I think I'm just gonna carry on editing my illustrations I'm gonna try and post more of the illustrations on my Instagram account um my illustration ones so if you don't follow oh I think my, the camera is moving sorry so if you don't follow me there then yeah go check me out um check me out check <laughs> my Instagram account out I mean um but yeah I think I'm gonna end this studio vlog here I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit more of the like shop update behind the scenes stuff um and enjoyed all the cooking montage stuff as well I'm sending you lots of love I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful a wonderful a wonderful <laughs> I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. I've packed the first order and I forgot to even put one of these in. 
and attention. Um, <laughs> I always salute whenever it goes out of focus, it's weird. Anyway, what the hell is this? <laughs> I've got tape stuck to my jumper. Oh my goodness. Da, so we'll get the, oh, close up. I thought this would be a good idea to like hold the camera more and be more like vloggy. <laughs> holding the camera because I feel like what I usually do is just stick the camera on a tripod and then talk to you like that but <laughs> is it more vloggy if I'm actually moving around and holding the camera it's a good good workout for my arms ah! <laughs> I'm trying to show you that I'm soaking cashews and I'm just pouring water everywhere awesome the usual Emma struggles to open something <laughs> section of the vlog. <laughs> I know I was nearly touching the piece of paper. Why won't you focus? <laughs> I have to touch it here on my camera. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile.